What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the next episode of the CMP Podcast. We actually had some wrap-ups of some anime today and some Itadakimasu. great episodes as well. Eat the Dakimas. Forgot Itadakimasu. to say that, everybody. Itadakimasu. Enjoy your food. Also, real quick, what was your favorite episode of the week, no matter what you're watching, whether it be Demon Slayer or anything else? Let us know down below. But yeah, so we had some great episodes, guys, this week. I want to talk about, uh, obviously, Hell's Paradise to start off. It was probably one of the... Uh, the strongest ones we've had. Uh, it's been a good series overall, but I really enjoyed today's episode. So you don't want to um, talk about brainwashing and Vinland? Uh, I mean, I want. There's a little bit I want to talk about Vinland, but some of the stuff I might say might pull some people away. So I want to trap them with Hell's Paradise, uh, and then go from there. Why would you pull them away? Because the only triggers I'm pulling are the back of the I'm week. Back of the week. <laughs> <laughs> back of the week. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, good times. But uh, yeah, really, really, really liked Hell's Paradise today. I, I figured, you, you know, they, 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 <laughs> another podcast. That's what you need another podcast. Yeah, you get one, and you're you're happy with it. <laughs> this one's dead already. <laughs> you get one podcast, and you better be happy with it. Yeah. Only trick is I'm pulling. This one's already gone. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I really like that they actually start to understand. Obviously, Tao and everything like that was like the big thing that I think we got from this, of course, and then. We saw that dude was actually changing. Started looking like the rock with all them veins all over his neck. Um, pretty cool. You know, just to see the, uh, the everything. What the, rock is that? The, the rock, Dwayne. Do you know Dwayne? Yeah. No, I've never heard of him. Personally, yeah. Mm. Well, he, uh, he hangs out with Big Sean. You talking about like, Wade? You talking about Dwayne Wade? Mm hmm. Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Dwayne Reed, oh. actually. Dwayne Reed, actually, the, the pharmacist. Oh, I know Dwayne Reed. Yeah. He got the um. He got the the basketball center in in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I know. I like that we saw the dude uh, who was obviously gonna. I, th- I think it was very obvious that he was gonna get some type of power, right? I feel like that was mm-hmm. kind of obvious. Like just the the fact that he crawled out of there, mm-hmm. so he survived. Well, he while he ate the flesh. Yeah, literally, he ate the yeah. flesh. Yeah, dude ate the flesh, and dude also crawled out of there while plants were going inside him. So you know, I feel like he. It kind of made sense that he was going to get something or something was going to happen. Like they were already starting to become one. But he was like, no, I need to get out of here. I thought that was it's cool. Like, it's like what the uh, almost like what the girl did. She when, when the dude was like, oh, yeah, I get it now because the girl touched her towel with mine. And now I kind of understand a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe the vines start touching his towel, but they infused mm-hmm. it a little bit more. You know, it's a little more potent since that's mm-hmm. where the tan is made. Mm-hmm. If you didn't know, tan is also a color. And so if you think about it, think what uh, else can you make out of colors? Mm, uh, other colors. Very racist comments. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was, was I right? Colors, was I right? Yes, you could use Not. those colors to oppress people. He is now <laughs> going to oppress. He was oppressing Squidface <laughs> after that. That's oh, he was. did. He oppressed his face real good. Yeah, he yeah, oppressed his face good. real good. But I um I really enjoyed uh like they said that so i think the fights were really cool i like that the dude started obviously learning like we already he was he's already been a fast learner he's been fast to adapt that's his thing you know one lesson every every episode um so this was like it was cool i, I like that the, the the girl started screaming louder strong strong weak weak strong weak. <laughs> yeah and like the, you know the, the, it's like the strong like, strong yo. no strong strong yeah. no yeah, no yeah. no strong, it's, like, strong. it's like the oh. people and the guy had her on the shoulders like yo can you she's like a, a temperature tester like is this good no, no. is this good no, it's still 162 uh, degrees or some crap like that. I love that. I swinging my sword lighter. How about this? <laughs> That's not what he did. He was like, wait, what about if I cut off their faces? No? Too strong. Okay. All right. But okay. I, I like that. I'll punch him in the stomach instead. Mr. Dissector was like, listen, I had a full grown conversation with her. Like, and I Ow. understood everything. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I, I don't get that part where she starts talking like better English as well. I'm like, what the hell happened to off screen? I think, I think she's better English. She learned, she learned yeah. the whole language in like five minutes. Cause she, I guess she's getting older. Is there? I, I, I like what I personally like about the the two villains. Well, quote unquote villains are bad guys, but not really. Um, it was like when they heard quote unquote villains. Because I mean, at the end, the, the, I'm talking about uh, Gamimaru and One Arm Dude, right? They're like they're villains, but like they're like. They're uh, not. They're not criminals. Right? Criminals. Criminals. Yeah, yeah criminals. criminals. Yeah, thank you. Bobby Morrow is not a a a, a a a villain. 
Well, oh, from perspective. Okay. You just, you just thought, put first of all, first of all, I thought I thought Joe was gonna go the perspective route, but <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the criminal route he's going. It's the criminal route. <laughs> No, but anyway, they, uh, I like that even though whatever they're charged and all that stuff, when they heard what the guy was, what they were doing, they were like, no, no, you're the worst type of person. I'm going to kill you right now. Yeah. Like, I, I like I like that they, they stood up for... But Gabi uh, Maro, in, uh, in his defense, or in his in defense, he was like, at first, before I came on this island, I probably wouldn't have cared that much. But now... I'm I don't know. Say that. He, he did say, say that. that. He did say that. He's like he did. He literally no, said he, he said he said uh, this island has taught me a lot about myself. He said the old me wouldn't have cared. Moe, yeah, Moe. I don't literally think he said that. the old me wouldn't have cared. I miss the you old. Know how Kanye. crazy that sounds? Do you know how crazy that sounds? Can you just imagine how crazy this show would have been if Diggs had this old explanation? He's like, "All right, toss it to this guy. We'll figure it out without her. Fuck her. They need her anyway." We'll figure, or we'll trade her for information. Here, you give me some info, and we'll trade you a little sex doll back. You know what like so? I feel insane. like he would have. I feel like that's what the old me would have done. That's what the old him would have done. And by old yeah. me, I meant old him. Yeah. <laughs> I meant old him. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Dude. That's crazy you too. I meant old him. Bro. <laughs> no way. We got to learn more about the dudes and their powers, and like what they. Well, we learned yeah. this, but. Yeah, there's so the much. I want to. Can we go back to the other guys? Do you guys think the the bl- the black haired dude is gonna get powers too? Because no, he's no. seeing he's seeing his blonde brother do all that all that strong work. No, no, he's no. getting bad vibes from it though. So I think he's going to like going up with no, because, No, no, it's because like it's it's clearly it was clear in the flashback when he cut his own eye and it was it was to protect his brother, right? Mm-hmm. And his yeah. brother doesn't have any scars, so it's. It's clear that there's one guy who's going to sacrifice and the other guy that's going to prosper. Yeah. But if it's, if it's a thing where we're both gaining power, okay? So we both need power to escape this island. Yeah. Right? If I'm your brother and I'm getting the power and I'm cool after all this, then I'm, I might be like, yo, eat some of the magic fruit so that way you can gain some power. Well, so it's, we it's, not, it's not the monster. Here. It's not the monster eating, though. It was the dude talked about did he merge with the thing when he was in the pit? So we thought it was the monster eating, but I'm pretty positive it's the merging in the pit. Yeah. I think it's a little ambiguous, but either way, yeah. he could climb into the pit. That's that's not. It's not like yeah. that's uh, beyond the realm of possibility. I think it's ambiguous enough, Mo, and I think you need to. I don't respect. care how big or small it is. Okay, all Villain I know did. is Villain I, very much I did. would love for him to actually get some powers. When, too. when we're done talking about this episode, I need you to say that line again so we can segue into Villain Saga. Okay. Okay, because okay. that the perfect. The perfect way to segue. Let's type that out just so we don't forget. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I might remember. I don't know. I I think he's gonna end up killing his brother though. Uh, as in the uh, the the black is gonna kill the, the blonde. The white, the blonde yeah. is gonna die. Yeah. yeah, I think the blonde's gonna end up yeah. dying to his brother uh, yeah. or something like that. I think he's gonna end up poetic. Killing. Always, always poetic to kill a brother. Always. We're gonna poetic. have some sort of flashback of them playing, and he's like, "My brother Nissan," and then, you know. My brother, the car, yes. <laughs> I, was say, I, was, I was literally about to say Honda, no. But, but yeah, literally, literally, what's about to happen? I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. What I really liked was the wave, um, the wave imagery. And it really just goes to show, like, all that hate that we had. Well, not we. It just, it wasn't me that hated on the girl. Like, I actually enjoyed the lessons that uh, she learned. But I can understand where, like, you didn't enjoy the fact that she was uh, learning every episode. But mm-hmm. I really like the fact that like it was a callback on the waves through her. Uh, it was it was a uh, I think it was when the misogyny happened with the guy, yeah. and she was like, "You got to be like a wave. You got to change." And she was mm, like, "Yeah, oh. I guess I'll change." Mm. And I, I like the fact that uh, Gabi Maro also did the, like the little wave thing. It was like a callback to that, and it was like, and then it was like, "Oh, now I understand why she's so powerful." I didn't like that yeah, line. She, I didn't like that line at all. I was like, she's not. She hasn't shown it to be any more powerful than uh, no, no, Gabby Mara. No, no. He, he. I mean, to him, she has. I guess emotionally, I can what see that. What wave thing are you talking about? What wave thing are you talking about? Uh, back when, when um, um, the guy was like, "Oh, you're a woman. You can't fight." Uh, yeah. Who got like slashed by a demon? Like the next episode or something. He was just like, I think she said it right. She said she got to be like a wave. 
Yeah. You remember that? It was like episode four. No, it was episode mm, five. Cheery. It was called The Samurai and the Woman. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about uh, I get what you're talking about. Now. Okay. Yeah. You're talking about one of the scenes that uh that you would come in and complain about saying it's too much lessons learning or whatever. I didn't say that. I but like they all that. tied it back in. I I'm, I'm, I that. didn't I didn't say I didn't. I like mean every that. lesson I, I, every every lesson's been tied in every episode. That nobody yeah. knew, nobody thought that wasn't gonna happen. But there were a lot of lessons to be learned. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's like it's almost like life. A lot of lessons. Sheesh. To be learned. Yeah. Speaking of life, that's a bar. That's sometimes. a bar. Also, I went. I went back to check because I don't like how you guys disrespected God tomorrow like that. There's okay. nowhere he ever says, "I only did this because of my experience I've learned on the island." He never says anything he, like that. He definitely said he that. Okay. I, I, literally found, really I literally found. I literally found. I. I. He literally said He's, the old me might have abandoned her, like which is exactly what we said. He would. Where? Say. Let me see that. I, I Please post a screenshot. Screen. I am for our friend. For our friend, Mr. Moa, down below. Bro. Bro, I know you watched this episode like 20 minutes ago. How do you already forget? Come on. Literally says the only matter of Ben and her. Uh, you see right there? <laughs> Who are they talking about? I need to see the her he's talking about. That's what <laughs> oh. I need it to be. Her, her as in the girl. There's babe. only one girl nah, in this he was entire thinking about, scene. He was thinking about Rebecca. Who are you talking about? Rebecca hasn't what? even showed. Was she in this episode? I think she was like for five yeah, she, seconds. She was, yeah, she's in this episode. For five seconds. Rebecca. I mean, the old the old him almost abandoned her anyway. Literally. <laughs> Ooh, which one? Yeah. Rebecca. Rebecca. No, nah, he didn't almost abandon her. He stayed with her the whole time. But no, what you, what you they, were, they were literally fighting. They were literally about to kill each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you guys have never been in hostile in situations before. So no, I mean, I actually, uh, I actually never, have never. I actually never have never been, been in a hostile like situation <laughs> you know before. You never been in a situation where your life was on the line or something bad could happen to you. You in it with somebody, things get a little heated. We're not fighting. We just having loud discussions. We having mm. very loud physical discussions. That's mm. it. That's not a fight. Hmm. How you feel about that, Mort? I feel about this. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. Look, you've been in those. There's a lot of things uh, that he's learned. Yeah, he learned. So you, so what you're, so what, so what you're telling me is you're misinterpreting what he said right there because he said the old me might have abandoned her, and that's what you were arguing against before, and now you're arguing for something totally different. I'm arguing the same thing. I'm arguing that I'm arguing one that he never said that. Okay, he did but see he that. Did, did, right there. Did, did, you see it right there. I don't care about that. Right, so let's I'm start. arguing one that he never said that. that. That's the first part of my good. Okay. And I'm arguing two, even if he did say that, he was directing it towards somebody else. The audience. Us. Yeah. Watching. But it doesn't it doesn't matter because we clearly know who he's she's talking about because he's getting ready to fight. Mm. As you see with him putting he's on the mask. He's not getting ready to fight the girl. Yeah, why yeah. would he say this if he's, he's gonna fight the girl because he's fighting the guys that are because he's threatening the girl? About Rebecca, he can't leave the island without oh, a ban. Look, look, look. Uh, who, <laughs> where's who's the girl in this picture right now? Tell me, tell me who. Who's who the one talking? With? Tell me who's the one talking. Uh, uh, it's the villain. It's like if you're trying to help her, you're making a so mistake. So who's he talking to? Can you tell me who's he talking to? He's talking to, to Gabi Maru, <laughs> protecting. The, How do you know? How do you know he's that? Literally in a pose. You don't see them he's in the same picture. The so how would you right know that? He's guarding the little girl. I saw my nose. How would you know that? Explain Has his it. hand over her, guarding. Bro, so, look, we all know Moe's blind anyway, so it's look, okay. I'm not. I don't gotta do this with y'all. Okay. Yeah, I, I, know you, I don't know why you're being a contrarian right now. <laughs> you were wrong the first time. I don't know why you're doubling down when you clearly see that the old me might have abandoned her. And I don't know why you're arguing the fact that that line didn't exist when it's right there in front of your face. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why you're arguing it either. I'm not. Yeah, we don't, we're not. I'm Mo, it's wrong. Let's keep going. But yeah, it was a great episode. I, it was very funny at the end. The dude just grew, just got destroyed. Yeah, like yeah, he just got destroyed you think it's a and mask? that's not the main guy right that wasn't the main guy that was uh another one of the seven yeah that was that was one of the seven okay yeah that was the redhead one mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. are they the colors of the rainbow yes you yeah. asked that last week okay yeah, you I got did. white okay. and you have black then you have purple and all the other colors 
Oh, we also got a definition. Uh, never mind. I guess I don't think white in this. the rainbow. By the way, There's definitely the rainbow no white or black. literally white Roy and black G are not in the rainbow. <laughs> it's Roy G. Biv. But thank you for that. You know what? Now that I think about it, well, it's completely wrong. But right. moving on. Yeah. I and there's also like. <laughs> Never mind. Well, we're not going like, to talk like about Bochu Jitsu, whatever it's called. Boku no Jitsu. <laughs> yeah, Bochu Jitsu was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just insane. That's how we talked about, that's how we talked about this. That's what, was, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, I was, I was going to mention that. Then I realized that, that I guess that's the entire point of this entire conversation that we had of protecting the girl. Correct. Yeah. But the fact that you <laughs> Boju Jutsu is, <laughs> is a word. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. Uh, Boju Jutsu is crazy. It really is. But, but one thing I. Their side, their nuts have been tight for what, like a thousand years? Yeah. I mean, that's. I'm going to be pretty aggressive by the time I. By the time, you know what I'm saying? One thing I didn't understand. One thing I didn't understand is how. Um, they said that you had to be male and female to be like this strong and like Mei is weak because of it. But if like you have pairs, then it doesn't really matter, right? That's probably going to be the whole thing where Gabi Maru fights with Rebecca and together they're unstoppable. Oh, after the Jutsu? <laughs> uh, they're going to do it through friendship and they're going to be like, what? How are friends doing? They're not even touching each other. And then uh, no, the little no. girl's going to say, strong, weak, strong, weak. Strong, <laughs> weak. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. This is a very good episode. I really enjoyed it. It's almost a 10 out of 10 for me. That was a good episode. Yeah, it was definitely like a 10. Yeah, I got 9.5. You guys um, watch the intro? Yeah, all Sometimes. the time. I, I literally watch it every time. I feel like it's a banger. It's a banger. And every time I watch it, I'm just like, oh, this is that character. Oh, this is that character. Like, I don't really care about spoilers, even though, like, someone like Gator would. But, you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Hate at someone else. In a pocket. It's good. good. Yeah, this yeah. Is a, it is what it is. We're becoming a true pocket now. Um, uh, so, Vinland The Saga. land is not big or small or something? Yeah, Vinland Saga. Segwaying into that. Uh, this was a... This was a this was an episode. This was an episode. I want. I want you guys to talk about. It. And I just want to add something that I, I. I. I thought of when the episode was going on. So please take it away. Any of you, mow it. Go, Vinland. Saga. I thought you don't have anything nice to say about Vinland. I didn't say it was a bad episode at all. Say something I just, nice about it then. I, I. I thought it was a very funny that uh, the amount of innuendo they were throwing around during the entire time. I thought that was just hilarious. I actually like broke down laughing. I didn't I didn't, I didn't realize it was, but I after Joey set, mentioned it, I, I thought it was really funny. Yeah. Dude, what it was insane. Though, I, I didn't catch it. Oh, damn it, I tagged you in it and I tagged you again to look back at it today too. <laughs> I really wanted your oh, opinion. All right, they're talking about Thorfinn and the Knut, they were co- talking. He was like, you're a beautiful man. My hole is too big to fill. I don't know if I can fill your big hole. Those are literal words. Those are literal words. Those are literal literal words. The dude said. I'm gonna screenshot them too. If we can kind of holes you try. Mace, if we can get some holes, and if we can get some. Yeah, I'll put a bunch of holes on screen. Thank you. Whoa. That's like that's what he said. That's what he said. Hey, Hanta Haven podcast, but no, this was legit words, dude. It was like, like I was laughing and watching. So I was like, did nobody see this crap coming? Like, they did that stuff on purpose. I know for sure. Yeah. I think uh, because I got a little spoiled when this part came up, I kind of uh, stopped paying attention as much because I already knew it was about to happen. Because AJ told me that they ended up leaving. And I was like, okay, cool. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah, the spoilers got posted in chat. But I do remember him looking at uh, Thorfinn with the glow on him. And he was like, man, that's a sexy man over there. I didn't even <laughs> say that, yeah. <laughs> it zoomed in on his eyes. And he said, so you'll fill the hole I'm not capable of. It zoomed in on his eyes. And you're like, are you capable of that? <laughs> it said, are you capable of that? Zoom in on his eyes. And then, and then his literal words were, I'm, 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 my, my power is so much smaller than yours. Zoomed in on his eyes while it's saying that. I can't fill a very large hole. These are literal quote. And he was like, you got a big old hole, too. I'm like, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Dude, you need to try is... harder. Don't make more work for me. Like, this whole <laughs> like, thing. 
Like, I really, I really, I really hope we're the first people to establish this uh, innuendo. In Pride and Joey, oh, nah. and Joey gets Joey gets his proper yeah, credit. Yeah, like... It was just so funny, dude. It's just zooming <laughs> on their eyes. They're all watching each other. Yeah. The beautiful oh, man was just yeah. funny because the dude beat up as hell too. Yeah. Obviously, he, was ta- he was talking about him as a person, obviously. Mm-hmm. No, that one's. But then, like later on, and then he does like a weird pose with his face. Like he does like the the fuck boy face. Yeah. Yeah, I forget. the whole thing was so funny, dude. Uh, uh, the combo was good. Uh, we find they said Vinland. They didn't say Saga. We're waiting on that. Uh, maybe that'll be. Is this the last episode or is it another? No, there's one more. He's, if they there's one more. Said, this is our saga to Vinland. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch the next episode. I didn't shut it off right there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we're done talking about this bullshit. Bro, his face is too funny. Yeah, let's look at this. Like, he's down the fuck right now. Like, he he's asking for it. Yeah, literally, 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 what's happening? Yeah, it was actually crazy. Canut is down bad. He, he could have took a whole village. He could have took a whole village, but he got a little too. That's what I do. Yeah. And then uh, I don't want to fast forward too much because we'll, we'll go back and talk about it. But uh, well, one thing that also caught my attention was that the end uh, when we started getting the. Um, Carving the uh, we, yeah, car. We started yeah. Getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we started getting the damn uh, what is it, the high mm-hmm. uh, and like notes are telling us, or like bop it. Yeah, I agree with you as well. It could be one of those too. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, remember, like, bro, high like <laughs> 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 yeah, like in between the commercials. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm just, <laughs> right. the, the most recent one, though, Pepsi like, would just pop up on the screen. You wouldn't even notice. The most Pepsi. recent one that I'm thinking about is like, yeah, legit, legit Pepsi. Smoke, smoke. <laughs> yeah, all thing. that crap. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Legit. They talking the about most... carve it. They trying to carve it into our heads. Yeah. I was thinking about the high Q episode though, when like the ending of it, when like we're meant to fly and oh, yeah. and like the so perfect fly. angle, it's perfect. <laughs> the shot, that form, it's perfect. Like all that stuff. Yeah, and, like, I love, I love high Q. I can't wait for it to come back. Yeah, is it coming back this year? There's a movie, right? I don't know. Year? Yeah, I, I think there is a movie. Yeah. Also, also, I like that they went on the boats. They left. Then we got a time skip narration and then it went back to real life no i was very confused i was absolutely confused i was like was there a time skip this guy looks really old oh no they don't they're not old at all now like what i was so confused man he was looking into his future (laughs) he's like oh because because the path that he's on changed right it's like symbolic so the path that he's on or it's like an analogy and he matured or it's a homophone because of what happened earlier but <laughs> he went. He saw his path forward, and he was like, "Oh, I like I like the way this is shaping him now, because now I got another ally with me. I got another friend. I got Thorfinn, along with you, Alexi. Oh, fill, fill the hole. Blind guy, yeah, blind guy. You fill up one hole, and now I got Thorfinn to fill another hole. Perfect. I got Bro, all my I got, holes. I, I got one, my whole two, army, I got my three, whole army behind me too. That's at least five holes in these fields. Well, How, what do you what, what kind of holes are you counting? Nothing. I think he counted his ears and nose too. I oh didn't count God. ears. Seven Come holes. Come on, Chimpag. Come oh, on, Chimpag. Come on. There's no eye plugs back then. Our eyes holes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Just, nine. Not for what you think. Yeah. Well, well, eight. Well, eight. If you count the guy that's blind. I well, actually, it's still nine. I I just want to understand why we. I I agree. Like, why are we getting the why did we get, okay. the, get the, the, the future? Spot. The future, though. Why did we get the future part? If there is going to be a season three, why did they give us that and then go back to the past? What was I the don't future? know if that was a future. I don't know if that was a future. I just felt I, I thought that was like uh, the Gabi Maru versus the other guy verbal fight that they had. It said later it's he a- ordered the disbandment of the Danish army and had been pressing English. In the end, Canute's forces doing some mere yeah. 16 ships. However, the English <laughs> uprising people feared would ne- uh, occur never happened meaning they looked into the future like never happened couldn't be the, a couple I days i don't Indians know never I, the english nobility know. realized that trust canoe had placed in them when he relinquished his military forces and it literally shows him a little slightly older with the king's crown <laughs> oh yeah. oh that i thought i thought you were talking I, about uh the, the slave owner the Patel. No, 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 no. 
No, no, no. I understand that. That's probably because they're yeah, like yeah, done yeah. with his story right now. Right. Or not even right now. They might just be done with his story completely. No, they probably will have it, like, it in the future, like here and there. And their boss. Well, that's, that's being done with his story. Like, his story is uh, attacking the farms, trying to gain more power. That was his whole, that was the whole point of his story. His line. story is history. His story is history. But now that it's history, Big Sean, they'll probably uh, move. That, that's they probably just use this to wrap him up. Yeah, wrap mm. up. I doubt that they really show him any longer. I, I think that, that, that's yeah. the whole point of having him leave the farm. Because if they had him invade the farm, then I, I feel like the whole story has to continue around uh, Canute and what he's doing, and we might have to revisit the farmland and shit like that. But this way. It wraps all this bullshit up with the farm, and yeah. now we can finally get on to what we really want. Out. Yeah, not fighting, not fighting. Searching. No, the the real thing is, I have no enemies. Mm. Mm. I hope there's an enemy next season, <laughs> and then it comes right for him. He yells his name like you don't think you remember what you I've did never, to my family. I've never seen such like it's, it's like it's like. Such concentrated hatred towards Thorfinn, who's done nothing to you, Joey. Thorfinn has done absolutely nothing to you. Yeah, I think that's the issue. Other, other than, other than having hideous, hideous facial hair. Oh, oh he's yeah, fine. It it's no, uh, no, Einer. he's not. Einer has hideous hair. And they have the same real. style. They're literally the yeah, same. Yeah, but he can pull it off. He can pull it off. That's the difference. No, he can't. He does, yeah. I think he pulls he it said, off. He said you're a beautiful man on the inside, not on the outside. Bro, no, Knut said you're a beautiful man. He used to be a beautiful man. Back in season one. Alright. That is, that is true, back in season one. Yeah, yeah. Which I was, like, very confused. Like, I was still confused. I was like, is that, like, a... Is he, like, trying to pretend to be a guy? So that he could retain the power, but... I don't know, he was just a dude. He just looked a little yeah, feminine. Yeah, just a dude the whole time. A little good bit episode. of lady in boy. Good episode. A little bit of lady in boy. That's it. We're not going to talk. And then homie came up on the beach trying to get his, his last lick. <laughs> yeah. And then, Where and are you, people? people? <laughs> Which means nobody told him anything. <laughs> it's just like, eh, he'll figure maybe, it out later. Maybe he shouldn't have taken the long way to get back to the maybe, beach. Maybe he's the guy that goes straight after Thorfinn. And your enemy. Oh, that's, oh. That'd be a great that, that guy actually fights. Let's go. You stole yeah, my not, kill he, from me. He's no match with Thorfinn, though. Yeah, it's going to be him. I think the uncle's probably going to show up because, like, they disbanded his entire army, right? Who's the uncle? Uh, Thorfinn's uncle. Uh, Thor uh, okay. Kel. Thor Kel. Oh, Thor Kel, like the big guy. Yeah, yeah, him. The one who okay. Thorfinn, like, cut his fingers off. Yeah, okay. That would be pretty cool. I, I can't wait for season three. That's because I want them to meet again because he was one of my favorite characters. Thor Kel and uh, who's he? Thor Gill? I don't remember who Thor Gill. There's too many Thors. Like, bro. I... Thor Gill, I'm thinking, is the guy that always wants to fight. The brother. Oh, the older, older brother? brother. Olimar is the older brother? Thor. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to be in season. Yep, is that, that it? This show is all right. Well, I'll, I'll give this episode like a, a eight. If it wasn't for the all the words at the end. Try to convince me to do something I shouldn't, then maybe I'd do it. <laughs> this is hope- this is this is a nine out of ten. I just felt very strange. Like it this seemed like a season finale. It did, yeah. Especially with the end. They're finally going off to the sea. Like they're <laughs> yeah, finally like- leaving this farm. Like the farm's gone. We're done. Maybe they'll go to maybe they'll go to school in the next I, I, I saw the preview. The preview they're going to Thorfinn's house, like his home. You- uh, We're going to the crib. To the did, crib. You guys, uh, did you guys uh, ever watch The Princess Bride? Yeah, no. maybe. Uh, uh, okay, so well, it has movies. the girl from movies. Batman in it, Serena Kyle. Uh, Don't know in uh, Hathaway. Yeah, is that her in Princess oh. Diaries? Sounds familiar. That's definitely not. No, no. that's the okay, other one. Never mind. You're thinking of that's. Yeah, this is, he's actually thinking about Princess Diaries. He named it. Oh, yeah, Princess, 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 Diaries. Princess Diaries. <laughs> No, so the, the there's a scene where this guy, right? He's basically a sword fighter, and he's looking for he, he's looking for a guy that murdered his dad, and he's always saying, "My name is Ine, Inio Montoya, something like that." 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you killed my father, prepare to die, so whatever his name was. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I think uh, the guy is the brother. Yeah. Like the, the, that's why I think, I hope that's what happens next season. Killed Andy my Ma- he's Andy Mateus? Yes. My name. My name is I'm Name. Toya. You killed my father. That was a good movie. You, it's it's a good, it's you, you like movie. it? You like it? I'll, I'll give it a watch if you said you like it. I like you it. You would recommend it? Yep, nineteen. It came out in nineteen eighty-seven, though. But that shit is old. And that is old. It's probably saying some things in there they shouldn't say. Yeah, yeah. Like some slurs. Can't say that. Bad dot. I'd give this a nine out of ten. By the way, I think I said that. I'm having okay. short-term memory loss. You didn't just say it. I felt it. Okay. Talk about some some one of the bullshits. <laughs> Let's go, my home hero. All right, so we actually, finally got the actually ending watched that. <laughs> of of Hero. I think I fell asleep. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so I, I have a few problems with this episode. Oh, go ahead, okay, go ahead. Okay, no, you go. go. No, go ahead. go ahead. So I I, I, I like the beginning. I like the beginning, right? Okay. So like they're 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 jostling for like who's gonna suffer more. <laughs> I feel like the Yakuza boss. That's just me, dude. His parents didn't love him. His mom didn't love him. Nobody loves him. He gets an arranged marriage. She doesn't love him. He has a child. <laughs> I like how it just baited you into thinking that I the child. <laughs> it just baits you into thinking that he finally loves the child because like he touched the child. And then it's like, actually, no, I've never actually picked him up before in his entire life. And then yeah. when I wanted to, he was too big. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he was going to shoot me at the time. <laughs> but then he joined a gang and <laughs> he was happy. And then the, the Yakuza my found gang. him. He's like, <laughs> well, he joined my gang. <laughs> the Yakuza <laughs> found him and is like, "Hey, man, we're gonna brainwash you so that you can actually love be our son. boss." No, no, no yes, I, the, the love of son. You gotta love his son by becoming. You gotta love the son, but they brainwash him to think that loving your son so that he can join. I don't know why the like, Yakuza. Like, I can understand like the Yakuza wanting him because he has a special set of skills. Yeah, he's an accountant. Yeah, yeah. but like, why is he the boss? He probably did so well. The the boss was like, "Hey, I like you. You're higher up now." Yeah, he worked his way up. Yeah, I said the organization had eye for those with my background. Problems. It's it's like it's like those reality TV shows, right? Like, or not well, like Hell's Kitchen and Bad Girls Club, right? They always get people who have issues. It's it's both. They get people who have issues. They get people who have issues, so they know when they put them on. They're gonna cause drama, or something's gonna happen. They're gonna be fights. That's literally what they did. Specifically, the, Bad Girls Club. But the that. boss guy is his—he's the boss guy. The boss guy, no, the guy no. who's torturing them. He, no, he's no, I think they're twin boss. I think they're, I think they're twenty. Or he's like right below him, but he's like well regarded. But he's a partner. And I also—I also don't think the accountant is the boss. Boss. I just think he's like the boss accountant. Like, yo, if the accountant tells you something, please listen to him because we don't want to make him mad. He's the accountant. But it's not like I don't think the accountant was putting hits on people. No, he's the boss, but he's the boss figure. I think, basically. I mean, the accountant was putting hits on people. He literally was. That's why yeah. this, like, whole story, this whole story. This whole story is about him putting a hit on the bar. When in the bar, I like I'm gonna kill their his family and his entire family. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna kill him and his entire family. Yeah, he didn't yeah, put the hit out on though. He never did anything but because he didn't know who he, who it was. Well, that was more like if you a boss, boss. You just say, you say, clear the city out. You say, kill everybody. You can say <laughs> something crazy like that. And then people would have to be like, no, no, chill, boss, chill. Like, we'll find them. We'll find them. Just give us some time. Chill. Then maybe, instead, he's sitting there silently like, yo, you guys got any information for me yet? Can I get some info? Maybe, maybe we could do something. How big are the bosses? <laughs> Nigga, I've got more power than him. I'll turn this whole show off. Now you have the ball. Now what? Dang, good job, bro. Good job. Now what? Look at you. Power. I, uh, I want to say when they were fighting with the knife and stuff and the cops came and the dude stabbed himself so that way if they opened up, he'd get in, tra- in trouble. I didn't really understand that scene because um, our guy never touched the knife once. So like he'll get arrested right there for sure. But when they actually prosecute for evidence, be like, yo, check the fingerprints. Nobody touched that knife but him. Like, no, but literally. he touched it later, though. That, so it was like already a little bit too yeah, late. He touched it later after when the guys were at the door and he was trying to shut him up. Which, it, it, it just didn't make sense. He was like, yo, just take it the wrap right now. And then, uh, say this guy's attacking you. Mm-hmm. He's trying to frame him for something. 
Say he's crazy and killed his son too. You're still in there. Why not? Wait, what? wait. You're saying you would open the door? I would open the if door. I'm being, yeah. If I'm being attacked, are you even if the guy insane? No, no, short term, short term, it's gonna work. Long term, it's not gonna work because then you realize that the yakuza boss is dead. Or yeah, the yakuza accountant. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess accountant. the yakuza would target him because he's like the last known associate. Yeah, but they would. But that's the whole thing with the with the end of this video. Anyway, it makes no sense. That's like. True. Yeah, Why dude, would I'm, I'm, anyway? Dude, the the way that they wrap this up is just is just weird. I mean, what was the wrap up? I think I fell asleep. It's the guy, a, like, he, there's a freaking tsunami going on, and he's like, "It's fine," and he stares like all like he has like a terrified face, like it's fine, like it's an uneasy face. One of the things is is that the the guy that was waiting in the car, he just assumes that he left without him. Yeah, I remember that. Like, what is that? What is that assumption? Why not just go? If you're if you're that guy, <laughs> so like, you know, it's not fine. It's over for him. I think that's yeah, what yeah. it's implying, right? It's a dark ending. He's gonna die regardless, right? There's a bad omen that the the tsunami's happening. There's no way he gets away with it, right? That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, why would you not open it for the police? You either you go to jail and then you have a court trial where uh, they prove that uh, here's a knife of evidence. Evidence proves I didn't touch it. The guy did it. All right. He goes. I don't know how trials work over there. I'm assuming something like that happens yeah. over there too. All right, they, they do have that. a ninety they, something conviction rate. You're going to jail. That's true. Dude, he's, that's, that's he's, that's not, I don't, true. he's not. He's not going to go to jail for that. He's he's definitely going to be innocent. But the thing is, like, he, the other guy knows that it's him. Mm-hmm. Yes, but the difference is, it's the dad, that guy right there, that said, "Kill everybody." Well, right? you don't think that's the police like, are going to uh, bring him to a hospital, hope he, like, and if he survives, it's going to be like, well, this guy actually killed my son, and that's going to go to trial, too. But that, this, this is what I'm saying. At worst case, the dude's going to go to jail for that. That's fine. But he's not going to go to jail for attacking this dude. He'll go to jail eventually for that. Why would right? he go to jail for attacking this dude, too? Because what, what I'm saying is short term. The police short, are just going to be like, short, oh, short. yeah, you right. You didn't kill him? You, uh, we believe you, bro. They don't, it doesn't matter. Do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they believe or not. There's evidence and there's a, there's a trial. People have to go over and, and pick it up. Once they get that knife and they run fingerprints and that the guy did not touch it, he's good. The guy stabbed himself. But that's not well, how it goes is the state isn't going to show that evidence against themselves if they're going to try and prove that this guy's a, curl, a killer. Well, it's not going to be state. It's going to be this guy's lawyers. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not state versus it because he's so not. The, it, so it would be this guy's lawyer that you'd be like. So this dude had broke into this apartment. They had some wild, crazy fight, and then he stabbed him. Or is it more likely that they had some wild, crazy fight, and then this guy stabbed himself? Well, they use that's when you bring It's not. It's not a. Bro, it's not a broken to apartment because the apartment's under his name. The, it's I, didn't his say, I, didn't apartment. Say, I didn't say that. I said the other guy. So they oh, yeah. Dude, the crazy, it, it, regardless the of what he broke into your matter. apartment and then stabbed himself. Yeah, the, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't matter <laughs> if it sounds crazy. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if it sounds crazy. If the knife is proven that he didn't touch it, if there's but no there's evidence, gloves, such thing as gloves. Like there's other. There's so many explanations. He could have been holding the knife in his shirt so that way there's no fingerprints. There's a, a ton of ways to not get fingerprints on off in that. In that I would get fingerprints would be semi white with me. That's how I know. I'm just saying, in that situation where you do that, fingerprints are wiped, sure. But there's no wiped fingerprints is what I'm saying. The guy grabbed the knife and did that, and he's the only one who touched it. Nobody did anything. You can't, or like, what? they're not going to wipe around. Like, this is not like color in the lines or color around the lines. They're not going to wipe but, around No, I'm not saying wipe it. Actually, I'm saying actually, if you were going to stab, because this is the, we know the truth as, as far as the anime presented it to us. But in this situation, if we didn't know what happened, Somebody can take a knife with their shirt or anything like that, a glove, a cloth, anything in the kitchen. So that way their fingerprints are on it and then stab somebody and then say and then wrap that person's hand around the knife and be like, oh, yeah, that person, they went crazy and stabbed themselves while they were in my house. I couldn't help. I couldn't stop them. My fault. For sure. But that's when special victims, you know, would have that girl that says, no, the guy actually stabbed himself because he put his hands in this way. And if I was putting my hands this way with that force, it wouldn't work. Mm, all, all I'm saying is I would rather risk it and go to uh, go to trial with it on that case and then let the evidence actually go up instead of saying, no, there's a hamster. Because if he ends up killing the guy, which he did, you're yeah. not going to be safe later because they're going to eventually come looking for you. Period. Right. Yeah. I would rather take the jail time than be killed by the Yakuza. No, but then Maybe? the Yakuza could target his family, which was his entire plan. 
But like, if he yeah, survives, well, he's going to start attacking the family. So he he has yeah, to either point, die least, yeah, or be uh, locked up. No, but the Yakuza was going to target his family when the guy was going to call for it. Remember, that's the whole fight that happened the other time with the mace yeah, and the dude yeah. spread him, spread himself. The guy did. I don't think the guy set that call yet. He didn't say we're going to murder you and do all that stuff. I'm going to call him and make him do that. So I'm pretty sure that stuff didn't happen. Yet. So they probably will, just because they're going to do that anyway, right? They most mm-hmm. likely will. But at but least also, this gives them time to be like, "Yo, get out of here and move." But maybe they thought that he just left. Maybe they thought, you know what? I got tired of this. He was in a bad mood already. Maybe he just left. He said he quit for sure. Like that's obviously something. But then, then, then who goes and checks out the at the house after, right? I'm sure this guy. You know, when he put him in the in the in the bathtub, I was like, "Oh shoot, take two. Dude's about to get cooked." Okay. Again, like literally, he was literally cooked though. Again, but I don't know. Yeah, because the the grunt when he went when he walked inside, he didn't see any blood anywhere, did he? Uh, he, did, no, he barely he looked. Moe. Moe, he barely looked. He walked in, saw a whole bunch of crap on the floor, and then walked out. Didn't right. go anywhere else. Didn't look anywhere else. I, I don't know. He might he might get away with that. I think what's probably going to happen yeah. is like the tsunami's going to like uncover his dead body, and that's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Face. Yeah, I won't find out next season. Oh, it's, there, won't be, there, won't be next season. there won't be a next season. Yeah, it's going to be like part time double. Out. It's going to be like a year and a half before we get like or five years before we get well, part twelve two. years. Twelve years. Twelve years. But but yeah, was it twelve My years God. really? Pretty sure we had the first one in like two thousand nine. Yeah. The devil is a part timer. Yeah, that was 2009. 2009? 2009. I'm pretty sure it's 2011, actually. 2011. Yeah. It came 2000, 2013, excuse me. 2013, so it's been 10, uh, 10 years, yeah. yeah well, yes. nine years because it came out last year, but yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think this is a second. I think this is up to like the reader to decide what actually happened. The dad obviously knows like it's not going to. I mean, surely the manga's finished, so if like, we really wanted to, we could read the manga. Yeah. I'm, I'm reading the comments. The comments are saying, like, there, will, there is stuff for season two. Don't care. But, like, yeah. You know what happened? They all died. Happily ever after. Happily ever after. Because they all went to heaven. That's really bad. He, he went to hell. No, the dog. The, oh, I, I called him a dog already. I was, <laughs> the dad definitely went to heaven because that's where all dogs go. <laughs> oh, also another thing. Like I'm watching these shows, and it's like they just keep referencing the other shows. It's like Vinland Saga keeps mentioning heaven and hell, and Hell's Paradise keeps talking about Vinland. Yeah, they saga. keep saying Vinland Saga. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. And then Mash well, keeps talking about my home hero. Yeah, he's right. like, why are you my home hero? And he's so, like, what do you think no. about this week's episode? Jump back to Mash. Dude, I was watching this episode. When I, I'm like barely watching it. I th- I thought that the dude that came in out of nowhere. I thought that that was that dude going Super Saiyan because the one okay. dude went Super Saiyan. So I, th- I thought that that dude went Super Saiyan. And oh, yeah. and like the other thing is uh that guy's voice is uh the voice of Aaron Yeager, I think. Oh, uh, not Jaden. Yeah, Yaren Yeager. Yeager. I mean, it's the same episode over and over again. It's like this guy, like everyone figures out that he has zero magic. It's not the same episode. <laughs> it's the same 10 minutes over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro you mm. didn't like the, the divine visionary guy with the swords? No, I love cool. Yeah, the, the freaking, uh, what, what is that? Uh, from Fate. Spider. The, what is that Fate Zero thing? I don't know. I, I've never seen Swords Reveal and Light, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fate, Fate Zero. Zero. I love that card. <laughs> you like that card? Yeah. yeah. Got a mint condition uh, hanging on the that ceiling car- right now. That car was broken, dude. You have like blue eyes on the other side and like uh, all these guys just standing still for three turns. <laughs> three what turns. a broken <laughs> card. Can't do crap for three turns. What a- Is that card banned? No, no. no. It's, it's really, really bad. Easy to, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you have counter traps and all that stuff now. No, like, it was that, never that, good. That, it was never good. It was it, never good. It, 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 was, it, was, it was good in 05. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! games, like before in the Yu-Gi-Oh! games, in the actual okay, games, okay, in the games, okay. in, the in, the, in, in the games, yeah, I'll get it. It was broken. Bro, it was broken in-game, Against I swear, the computer? guys. It was broken in-game. Yeah, it was super broken <laughs> When in-game. the computer can make real strategies, that shit was broken. Listen, trust Wait. me. When I use Giga Impact, it's good. I mean, Hyper Beam. Yes, bro, I was on the 1000s, and I was using it, and I was like, bro, bro, it was great. We don't have to talk about MASH, though. Uh, it, like, I, I agree it is like the same thing all the time. I just enjoy it because it's a lighthearted anime. 
Which it I is lighthearted, is. but like, why is there a flashback? Like, I don't need a flashback. I wanted to talk about this in Home Hero 2, but I really love the, <laughs> the backstory for these characters in the last episode or the second to last episode. This is the perfect time to explain these characters to me, especially I, in MASH, how it's the second leading character. I'll get his backstory in the second to last episode. This is the perfect time. Wait, wait, wait. wait almost, isn't MASH 24 episodes? It's uh, is this 24? Uh, it might There's be 24. no way. This is 24? No 12, 12, 12, no 12, 12, 12, 12 episodes. 12 episodes. <laughs> it's not 24. You <laughs> no way. It's 24 episodes. <laughs> well, we got two more left. Yeah. But you now going back to my home hero, I thought that uh, the, uh, the Yakuza dad's like, backstory was hilarious. Like the moment it happened, I started laughing because I was like, Dude, uh, yeah. Everybody hates me. My wife was picked for me. I hated my son. I wish I could hold him out there. Then I came when, when he stood outside the the prison with the with the, all the other dudes. <laughs> yeah, what the what is this guy doing? What are you doing, bro? Father of the year, right there, man. <laughs> you're smiling, and someone's like, "You look good, Dad." I brought the whole <laughs> gang to see you. Let's <laughs> gang, 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 gang. I'm gonna show you the handshake right now. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah stuff, that was really funny. But yeah, I mean, we don't have they to talk about that. I don't recorded his first day out record. I will say, if we ever get to a season of One Punch Man, we have to watch. We have to talk about that, even if it's oh, the same dear. thing every single time. Oh dear! I mean, One Punch Man is about the character to survive until he comes, until Saitama comes and saves the day. That's literally what it is. Okay, quick question: Who would win, Saitama or Goku? Saitama. Saitama. Great answer. His, his whole thing is that he's a parody of superhero that's broken, can't lose, but has Goku. no reason. He literally has and no reason to lose this. He gets stronger. It. So as long as like he just wouldn't, he can get stronger every time, bro. He can get stronger forever and ever, and still keep dying. I've never seen Goku die permanently, dude. He needs someone <laughs> to get the Dragon Ball. <laughs> I like, I like how he said that. I've never seen Goku die permanently. Yeah, seen Goku die <laughs> plenty of times. Goku can die, but I've never seen him die permanently. No, no, I, I think he's no, not. If Goku Goku. dies the first time, it's, he's out of here. I think uh, Goku's died by the time uh, Boo Saga came. I think he yeah. died tw- at yeah, least twice. Because he, he had the halo, yeah. Yeah, he literally couldn't come I back. Never, like, Don't wish me back this time, die. guys. It's okay. No, I'll stay here with King Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sal, 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 But no. That's uh, yeah, why you yeah, said Boo, Don't wish me back. Boo, Boo, he actually did get wished back. And, yeah, then, that's what, back. and then he left his family yeah. to train Oob. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite uh, Dragon Ball Z meme? Because I'll, I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. Yeah, My favorite meme is uh, and don't is say when uh, say nothing. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. My favorite meme is when uh, it's like, oh, you beat cancer. That's that's you. You must be pretty strong then, huh? And like, it's like Goku approaching a cancer patient, like yeah. about to fight them. Uh huh. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I've never seen that meme before, though. I, I've seen. Oh, but I get what you're talking about now. Uh, my favorite one is the um, is the you see this you see this Vegeta? Yeah, I see Kakarot. You see this Piccolo? Yeah, I see this. <laughs> you can you can <laughs> look at this Gohan? Yeah, I see this. I like I like when they stack up all the characters. <laughs> I, I like that one too. I like just as a character. I like I like Master Roshi as a same. Not the pervy side of him, but the uh, the really strong old man that's like mortal or whatever. Oh my god! Let me fight it. Oh, let me fight it. I heard the cats. Is... I heard the cats are pretty strong. Let me hear what Chimpex said. Yeah. Chimpex said he's gonna fight the guy who had cancer. <laughs> one. This, this is not the right meme. This is not the right meme. This is not the right meme. It's better. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the one you posted is great. I heard your cancer is pretty strong. Let me fight it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I would love if, if I had that. I would love Goku to fight it. Like hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this is way better than Goku being like, "Oh, you fought cancer. Right, you must be pretty turn. strong." <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta fight me. You know what? I'm gonna go. infinity. Oh God! What a good time. Mm. So what do we want? Okay, this is this is the right one. This is the right one. Found it. I found the right one. It's gonna be the same one. <laughs> yeah, literally. Hey, dude, I heard you beat that cancer guy. You must be pretty strong. 
<laughs> it's still in bed. Why is Goku walking forward in this? Back up, bro. Who let you in? Bro, it's Goku. He can go anywhere he wants. And I'm Goku. Except for home. But yeah. That's true. I'm excited for next season. I, there's only one uh, show that I'm excited for. What's that? Jujutsu Kaisen. I didn't watch that movie. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you know what movie to. we gotta watch? We gotta watch the uh, the Black Clover movie. Yeah. Sure. When is it out on Crunchyroll yet? I don't think it's out on Crunchyroll, but I saw people talking about it. Point of view: You get home from beating cancer. Son Goku is calling. I, I saw it in an anime, so. Nice. I'm gonna report it because we don't pirate the anime. Yeah, good, 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 yeah, good. I'll, I'll yeah. want to report it because all the pop ups that came up during it, but I think I'm almost caught up on Heavenly Paradise. By the way, it's very good. Heavenly Paradise, Heavenly Delusion. Nice. Heavenly I've Delusion. Uh, I've been watching, which I think is really fun, and you shouldn't take it seriously, also, but it's really fun. Um, bringing God into Godless World. I actually think it's like I gave it a chance. Wait, I thought it's, you said it was. I thought we said it was terrible after two episodes. Yeah, and then I kept giving it a chance. Okay. And then I enjoyed it. So you're like the Goku of giving anime. And, a chance. and also, I enjoyed uh, what's it called? I think uh, it's called brainwashing. I think you got brainwashed. Mm. Like the Yakuza oh, did to that guy. Okay. Exactly. They just kept mm. forcing to watch it. No, you also watched. Weird. You also watched. I also watched the uh, the other show, The Terrace, that I think Moet watched the recent episode, too. I'm still enjoying that. No, I didn't watch the recent episode. I'm on episode six, I think. Someone's on episode nine of it. Oh, that's the show you guys have just been popping off with? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's got really good art. Is it good? Who's watching uh, Yukio? <laughs> oh, I watched it three months ago. But... It has to be John. I think that's John. No, that was no, me. No. I watched Yukio this morning. Why? Why? Because I want to see how I want to see how it uh, held up. Okay. 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 What episode? Was like, <laughs> we should. We should. That's. We I should like the, do a. Uh, we should do a rewatchable uh, pod. Is is this anime still nostalgia? Yeah. I was. I was watching the insect episode. I started from the insect episode and I ended after the Harpy Lady he beat the girl and he beat the yeah. Harpy Lady. And his name's like Ju- I can't remember anymore. It's Don't something way Junichi. 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 Yeah, there you go. All right, you didn't have to like prove to me that you watched it though. Like, it's, I believe you. What do you mean? You said you, his no, name is Junichi. I, I didn't know. Well, I only because I tried to watch the dub version, and I couldn't find it on there, and that upset me. Yeah. And then I was like, "Who the fuck is this Jonichi guy?" <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh no, this is Joey." Oh, okay. Who's Honda? Oh, I'm Honda. That's uh, Tristan. Oh, you I'm see, Goku. I don't even be paying attention to these people's names now. <laughs> what was totally Kaya's different. name? Kaya was uh, her real name, like Anzu. That Gardner. was her name, Anzu. Anzu. Yeah. What is Anzu? Is that like Hope? I thought it was Anzu. like a food pun. Uh, but that's crazy because they didn't change Mai's name. My her name was still Mai in the English version, wasn't it? Yeah, but Mai's like not that. You know, um, about Asian, huh? It's, it's oh, yeah, Asian, like Mai, Mai, Mai is like an actual Japanese name too. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Like they named her Mai Valentine, and they kept the name. Yeah, I like that. Is her last name Valentine? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, cool. I don't know. I don't know in the du- or the sub if her last. It might be. Didn't they change like Pegasus name? It used to be like uh, Pegasus J Crawford, right? And then they changed it to Maximilian. Maximilian goes way harder. <laughs> it's way better. Known as Pegasus Jake Crawford, the Japanese version. <laughs> Pegasus Jake Crawford. Jake Crawford. <laughs> yeah, that's trash. Come on. <laughs> okay, so Anzu means apricot. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, Bakura's name is actually Bakura, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I guess that makes sense because he deserves yeah. to keep that. And Seto Kaiba is obviously going to be like they like yeah. the people like there's. That have names like that are still doing the same. Like Yugi's, like there's no Yugi, there's no whitewashing Yugi. Yeah, it's, Yugi. it's insane to Is me it? that they they did Yugi for like uh, the first one, but in GX they changed Judai to Jaden. I'm like, what's the point? I like Jaden though. I like Jaden. Yeah, J- 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 Jaden is my goat. 
James Michael, yeah. James Hart, but I'm gonna throw him. down a face <laughs> down. <laughs> get your game on. Gotcha. Game on. Get your game on. Remember when he fought the the panda dude, and the panda dude was actually a threat, and he started like flipping tables or some crap. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about uh his his roommate's dad, right, with the hot sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, yeah, bro. I, I rewatched that series like a lot, actually, like once dude, a year, uh, twice a year. The, 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 dude, they, they, the dub, they, they stopped caring. It was so funny. Yeah, they like, really I, up until the, the end, yeah, they, they, the, the stuff. It was almost like a parody watching mm-hmm. it. I remember it was almost like a parody watching uh, GX, and also the, um, the ending of it was so dark though compared to the entirety of it. Crazy. No, they, they, they didn't even do the ending in uh, dub. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah like yeah, the yeah, ending I, they had was just like a weird spot to uh, leave it at. Is it this yeah, of Jade sacrificing himself with uh, you, Bell? I didn't even watch the the sub version. I I always watch it dubbed just because I grew up watching it dubbed. So I just continued watching it, except the uh, the Yugi, the last season of Yugi, where they're like they're in the past Egypt. Yeah, I watched that in sub. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's that's dubbed. Or not. I uh, I down I downloaded I bought um uh what is it? Uh Japanese Digimon and Japanese Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. And like I mean I can watch Japanese Dragon Ball Z. It took a little while, but I can watch it, right? That's that's that's, that's took tough. took a, took a little while, that's but I can tough. watch it, right? Like at this point I'm okay with it. But watching Dragon Ball Digimon and these little nine year olds saying fuck, I'm like, yo, <laughs> oh, please. What? Not my hero. Not, literally, dude, they're cursing like, "Oh, you guys are nine, eight, seven. Like, what are you? Wait, what are you how doing? old are you when you started cursing? Like, I was like in third grade when I started cursing. I was, uh, I was, I was twenty six. Wait, um, um, fourth, it was four, fourth grade is where it started. I don't, I don't, I don't remember them cursing in Digimon. I because I watched it. I watched it sub. Like, there's a, there's a um, dude, they an said anniversary. Damn. They said damn, and I was like, whoa. Oh, there's an... <laughs> all right, Joey. Down, grandma. <laughs> I remember when I thought like that. There's an anniversary of Digimon. It was called Digimon Try. It's like one of the best. Uh... Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, you watched it? Uh, I watched the the one of the three movies instead of Try. Because Try was a combination of okay of the of the other movies. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Digi- Digimon Try was really good. It's like ten episodes. Dude, Definitely the other thing was really good too. Um, the other movie with uh, the guy that had that digivolves into the machine gun arm. Uh, oh, longer uh, dude. Mecha Agumon. It's not Agumon. Oh, it's, is it the bunny? Is it the bunny? It's the bunny. It's the bunny. bunny. It's the bunny chip. Wait, are you, the movie? Are you talking yeah, about so the, the original movie? Yeah, the the Digimon movie was sick. That was actually the movie that had three movies in one. Excuse me, dude. Yeah, that has three movies in one. It's so weird, dude. But like, it's such a fire movie, though. Yeah. What? <laughs> None of it, dude. Did so the Digimon the movie? It came out in Japan, and it's supposed to be three separate movies in Japan, and it came out in America. They had like no One budget. Movie. What? No, no, keep on, come on. Yeah. They had like no budget, so in when it came out in America, I, I I could be just like completely wrong in this, but when it came out in America, they just combined all three things into one movie. So it has like the three movies are one movie, and they try to make it into like one story, but it doesn't make any sense at all if you like actually watch it. Well, I was a kid watching it, so I didn't really it's a care. Great movie, though. It's a great movie. It's yeah. a fantastic it's a four movie. Hour movie. Yeah, it's pretty long. I think. I think it's like two hours or something. Maybe there's maybe no more. way it's three movies and they fade it into two hours. No, if they try and make it like all the stories connect, it's, you just cut a bunch of yeah, pieces. It's, it's actually one hour 30 minutes. Yeah, they, they cut a lot of it. Like, like, Ron Tomatoes is 24%. <laughs> but that movie as a kid though was fire. Yeah, it was yeah. fire. It was fire. You actually got a, I'm pretty sure you got a card from it too. Yep. I watched it so many times. I might rewatch it too. Good movie. You're not going to be able to sit through that. I yeah. think you can. I think you can. No, it's I can because the English version of it is also like a dub. No, 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 no. I'm not talking I like, about. I like a, I'm not talking about listening to it in the background. I'm talking about sitting there, paying attention, and watching. It. No, me, I, me, no, me, dude. I, I'm pretty it. sure. I'm pretty sure I liked it, dude. Where there was the uh, there was Ty's mom. Ty's mom was was saying some crazy stuff in that movie. <laughs> she said, "No, Lizzie, uh, Izzy, I can never uh, get you to make try my recipes. Want to try my spinach cookies? I made beef jerky shakes. Would you like a glass of potato juice, Izzy?" <laughs> what? Like, this, is literal, this is literal stuff in the Digimon dub movie. 
Kids, I made your favorite <laughs> liver steak. Words. So do I have enough of this? Beats me. It's the first time I use flour to make a cake. Are more friends coming over? I'll make you, three bean salad. Nobody's coming you, over. Oh, okay, I only had two beans anyway. Would you Would you like a glass of potato yeah. juice? <laughs> Phones have gone dead worldwide. Your phone. If your telephone is dead. Please call your phone company. Well, at least my sister can't call me three times a day. Like, the mom was so freaking funny. I can make you a cake tie. Hand me an egg, please. No. He just said no straight up to her. Dude, this movie, like, I'm telling you. More juice is easy. I just squeezed some onions. This is literal stuff she said in the damn movie. Bro, we need to do, like, a cooking session and we just do all the Digimon recipes. Not the liver cookies. Not the liver cookies. Oh my god. Dude, it was actually so freaking funny. Like it's it's such a good movie and I enjoyed it as a kid. I'm gonna watch it again. Yeah. It's a, it's an it's all right. Movie. It's a, it's a, it was good. I think I would enjoy it still. I don't know I why it's twenty four percent of Rotten Tomatoes. I hella enjoy it. I, I haven't seen it as an adult. Like I've watched it as a kid like a lot, but I never like watched like the whole season sitting down and all that. Fair. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely enjoy Digimon more than Pokemon as a, as an anime. Mm-hmm. I, I I like them both a lot. Uh, for season one of Pokemon, because season one of Pokemon was fantastic. It was oh, like Yu Gi Oh season one, like yeah, no no rules. I don't I don't really like Yu Gi Oh. What? Like like going back on it and watching it, I didn't really like it. Uh, I mean, I I like okay. rewatching like the first. Three. Listen, bro. He's just making he's just making up rules, bro. It's just like the Pokemon. You just make up rules. It doesn't make any sense. No, it's just like D and D. It was just like they're yeah. playing D and D. Yeah. That's because by then they didn't have the rules set up yet. No, Kaiba didn't make and the rules. Yeah. Along, then they had the rules more and more. Then the rules get more and more uh, stabilized. Listen, and Pokemon they still don't have rules. I stopped watching Pokemon when he he, he hit his own swallow. With, with uh, Thunderbolt and it started having well, his well, electric well, wing. Well, I mean, they did a lot of garbage like that going forward, right? But like the re- the season one, I think he won five of the badges. Weirdly. Yeah, he was like, gifted he three won, of them. He won, Sabri- he won Sabrina let's, let's, by making let's, her let's, laugh. No, no, let's let's go, let's go down. Let's and Bro- Brock, he got the badge because he put on the sprinklers. Yeah, yes, that's crazy. But that was like the, one of the actual real battles, right? He still put on the sprinklers to hurt Onyx, and he hit him with Thundershock. So he actually did use an attack there against uh, Misty. In, in Misty, he, he, fought, he fought Team Rocket. He fought Team Rocket. Yeah, he didn't fight Misty. <laughs> yeah, in Misty's, he fought Team Rocket, and then uh, the sisters the sisters awarded him the badge. Also, the only reason he didn't beat Misty is because Pikachu refused to fight her. That's um, crazy. That's Lieutenant true. Surge was a fire one yeah, where Pikachu that, that used his tail as a lightning rod to stand up against the wall. So <laughs> Raichu got hit with the electric attack. That's it was true, really fire. Yeah. That's um, fire. Okay, I'll, I'll give you Lieutenant Surge. In Erica's, really he saved them from a fire after being denied the badge during the battle because he wasn't a girl. That's true. Um, and that's, he literally that's, dressed up as a girl. That's anti misogyny. He saved, them as a fi- he saved Gloom and he was, was like, you deserve sick, this but... badge. Um, Pogas, I don't remember. Let me I don't remember Pogas at Ash. all, actually. Ash versus, well, whatever. Depending on how you play, Sabrina's next. So, Sabrina, he made her laugh, right? Ash versus Koga. No, I think he went to Sabrina lost, and then he went to Koga, right? Dude, he got he got absolutely crushed oh, by he went Sabrina. Sabrina lost, and then he got trapped in the in the world or whatever. They died or whatever. <laughs> Wait oh, a right, minute. Against Koga, against Koga, his Venonet evolved in the middle of the battle. <laughs> That's Perfect. cool, though. I like that. I That's wish Pokemon hard. had that like mechanic in-game. Oh, like against it. Koga, he against Koga, he actually used smart Pokemon though, Charmander and Pidgeot and Pidgeotto. Oh, that's right. Because like, I think it was just like you had to bring three Mons because the gym leader had three Mons or something like that, right? Wait, wait, didn't Charmander evolve into Charmeleon against Koga? Maybe. Let know. me see this. Charmander evolves into Charmeleon. No, Isn't I think Char- all off a list already. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually looking at, I'm actually looking at it on, uh, on YouTube for that one because I don't remember. Koga, Koga he actually beat as a legitimate one. Uh, Blaine, they fought, then he the island the started to explode. He, yeah, the, he aimed, he I hit right on on the horn. He hit elect- He fought right on with Pikachu. Hit it on the horn. Then the his, the dude uh, Jim started to explode. He powered it up as a lightning rod. Yes, the dude's gym starts to fall apart because it's in a volcano like an idiot, uh, and it's being held by. Th- Four metal chains. Like, are you mm-hmm. dumb? They're gonna heat up and eventually break. And then Team Rocket tried to do stuff. And then in the end, it was just Mag uh, Magmar versus Charizard. We get Which the size and toss around the great. world. Actually, yeah. And then Gym Leader Eight, he fought Team Rocket. <laughs> like, not Giovanni. Yeah, he fought yeah. Team Rocket. 
I never and got the guys that. before the guys before were like fighting actual Mewtwo and crap like that, apparently. Yeah, I like remember that. It was Mewtwo in that suit. That, that like that robot suit, right? Well yeah. that makes up that makes that's the lead up into the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, but didn't but, he not see Giovanni the, the, until like yeah, movie the, four or movie five? The, yeah, also the movie came out way earlier, Moet, but time time it wise, did? it is yeah. Time mm. wise, uh it did. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it did because uh Whatever. Oh, who knows? Who cares? We're, we're right. But basically, I think three, <laughs> three, three of those badges he actually battled, or four, maybe four. And then, in terms of actually battling the gym leader, he maybe battled five of the gym leaders, like legitimately, like fighting Team Rocket from Viridian. I think he should have fought Giovanni. No, yeah. Giovanni's a mystery man. You can't just see the boss. Got to be the boss to see the boss. Oh, he actually fought Team Rocket. That was that's so dumb. Literally fought Team Rocket. Also, Gary had ten badges. That's, yeah, he got that's the, the uh, fighting gym, and then uh, <laughs> Gary is the goat. <laughs> that's the goat, dude. Who was that guy with the sand dial who was using like the muscle band? Yeah, the guy. That guy. He, he, that guy, was a gym leader. He, he was like on the unofficial gym leader, and like he had his own badge or something like that. I remember some. <laughs> it was some BS. Yes. <laughs> Make a wish badge. Yeah, make a wish. Badge. Who won the first championship? Was it Gary? No, Gary didn't win. But Ash definitely didn't win. He lost like he lost to five. Richie. No, no he, he lost, lost to Richie, right? Was it Richie? Um, or did he lose Gary to the Bell Sprout? I just also, apparently, Kanto has more than eight badges, which is how Gary had ten. Yeah, oh, but you just need eight to enter. Yeah. Because Gary's yeah, badge case is actually so different than, than that. No, he went to church Ash, real quick. Ash really fought Team Rocket. I saw it. And they sent out three Pokemon at once. Respect. They sent out... No, you know what they did? They sent out... Uh, what is it? They sent out... They sent out Machamp, Kingler, and Rhydon. Is that the I first triple this. battle? <laughs> Ash sets out Squirtle. <laughs> it might have been. Oh, Ash man. sets out Squirtle. Also, the game actually had double battles in the show before. Uh, legit double battles in the show before they were in the game, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, this was the thing where yeah. he used to, Ash was standing like on an electric thing, and if his Pokemon took damage, he took damage too. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, which is Wasn't crazy. Every Team Rocket encounter a uh, double battle. Yeah, kind of, yeah, mostly. Kind of. Because but sometimes Ash only sent out one Pokemon, right? Oh, and you know, yeah. And you also, you guys know why Ash, he didn't even fight Team Rocket. It's not a real fight. The, only, the, the fight ended. Mm-hmm. That fight ended because Togepi clicked the button that blew up the gym and then the badge fell from the sky. Wait, wait he Bro. lost to this guy? He lost to this guy in the lead, uh, in the, the tournament. Who is this guy? He's just some rando. <laughs> His Charizard fell asleep. Dude, he, dude he, oh yeah, he lost to Nuzlocke, I guess. <laughs> Oh, no, no, he beat that guy. It was against Sparky. No, dude, he lost against Sparky because his Charizard refused to pl- battle anybody that was weaker than him. So he, he forfeited. That's, That's dope. Such a That's whack true. way to end it, too. I mean, I get it. It goes into, like, the Charizard Isle and how Charizard became one of his most faithful Pokemon of all time next to Pidgeotto and whatever. But I felt like it was just really dumb, like, to lose that way. I like, like, I like how when he did go to the Charizard Valley, his Charizard was, like, the weakest of them all. Yeah, the he was the shortest, yeah. I beat down. Oh, this is Charla. Clearly, you can see by the bow tie on top of his head is a female Charizard. Yeah. Right. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching the CMP podcast. Let us know your thoughts on Pokemon and everything else we talked about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what are you watching next season? Peace, guys.